I wanted to talk a little bit about a piece of lace I knit and how I've been blocking it. Um, I wanted to show this part is blocked. You can tell spread out. Now in comparison, this end is what I still have to block. And you'd say like fresh off the needles, it comes out um, crumpled and smushed together. So in order to <clears throat> really open up the lace holes and show off the pattern, you can block your lace. And this particular border has a straight header. Now, you can see in some places you'll see my pin marks every few stitches. Now, you can avoid that by using a blocking wire, which is a wire you'd run along that straight header. And then as you pin, you'd be pinning straight across. I don't really mind though, because this usually just gets sewn into a seam and would be hidden anyway. Now, to go about blocking, I'm going to use this cardboard dressmaker's board. Um, I've had it for years and years and years, which is why I'm not really sure what it's called. Um, but I got it at Joann's. It's for pattern drafting. These are one inch squares. So I'm just going to use that so I can make sure to get things as nice and even as I want them to be. I'm going to start where I left off and I'm going to put a few pins and right now would be a good time to give you a note about pins. These are map pins that were left over from my husband's territory manager days. Um, so they're nice and small and they have a pretty good head on them so I can pull them back out easily. Also you could use tea pins, flower pins, flower headed pins. Um, as long as they're rust proof. That's kind of the only qualification. If you don't use rust proof pins, you'll get rust marks all along here because you need to dampen your knitting. Um, I just used a spray bottle, sprayed this down really quick so it was nice and damp. Um, see, it's leaving marks. And um, I'm going to use that dampness of the cotton this is pearl cotton and I'm going to be able to stretch those fibers and then when they dry they'll dry in shape like this um, I did not starch this I just used the dampness and the cotton um, the natural stiffness of the cotton as it dries and that will hold it really well until another washing um, you could leave your lace like this if you're not the kind of person who's going to pin out the peaks every time you wash something. Um, this is something I'm donating to a silent auction to raise money for a academic organization. So I want to block it so it looks its best and whoever wins it can do what they would like with it. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the lines to make sure that I'm straight and I know already from what I did yesterday where my spacing is about I'm getting about three of these peaks per inch and um, you can see this part is where it was blocked and as so I'm just gonna pin this into place to start establishing the spacing for the rest of the blocking. Um, as I go, I'm just going to pull these peaks in. I know that I was using a top line and then going about one and a half inches down. So the lace itself is going to come out measuring about one and a half inches wide. And I'm just going to go along here. Now I'm pinning on this heading in the half inches too. I'm trying not to pull. Oops, okay, I'm back. Um, my battery ran out and I had to recharge and stuff, but I'm all set to be able to finish this. I just wanted to say 
I'm using the spacing that I figured out yesterday. You know, I had already established it on this pre-blocked part, and I'm just finishing this length in the same amount of stretching. Um, but you can stretch your lace. These are ends I'll weave in later after it's stretched. Um, you can stretch your lace as little as you'd like, and I guess as much as you'd like. This is pretty far. I don't know that I could stretch it any farther than that. I'm opening the um, yarn overs quite a lot. And I'm just gonna keep going along here, try to keep the header straight. Don't pull it into peaks too badly. Um, like I said, that'll hide as you sew, but it can be done that you can make it pretty even. And I just grab the peak, pull it to where I want to put it. So here I'll use a longer pin this time. You can see the tip. I just put the tip of the pin in the peak of the, the tip of the peak of the knitting. I just pin the pin where I want that point to dry. Um, I'm just gonna go along here, let you see as I go how that opens up those eyelets, the yarn overs in this lace pattern. These are double yarn overs, so they open up really nice and big. Um, and I can pull this header along just straight. And like I say, I kind of know this spacing already is gonna take these three peaks in this repeat and um, move it right along here to this inch mark. So that's pretty much what I was expecting and it's coming out the length I would like it to. Um, I'm just going to let this video, uh, I'll probably speed up the footage and just let it record until it ends and you can see as I go along how far I get. Oh, here comes a cat. This is Coriander. Come here, Cor. Come here. You gotta get in the frame. No? Okay. Well, keep your little snoot away from these pins. Okay. So we're just going to keep going along here. Pin out the repeats as we go. Really, it's very repetitive. Um, but blocking can make the lace have quite an impact. If you stretch it pretty far, um, it's especially impactful with things like shawls, really big pieces, because they just, they get huge um, compared to how they wear off the needles. Okay, so I have it all pinned up down the length of my board. That's where we started. Um, and here it is pinned down. Now you can see the cardboard did soak up a little of the water. I usually don't have it so damp, um, but that'll just dry right out. I'm going to leave this here in my craft room under the ceiling fan and uh, then when it's dry, I'll take all the pins out and it'll be in shape, just like this first half was. And then I will do this one last little bit <laughs> that didn't fit on the board. And that'll be a little more than two yards of lace that I knit. So, um, I hope you enjoyed watching this. If you have any questions about blocking lace knit borders, knit lace borders, let me know. And if I don't know the answer, I'm sure we can figure it out together. 
So thanks so much. Bye.